Hello children, welcome to my YouTube channel Sakotech STSL. Today we are going to discuss about the central processing unit. This is the first chapter of grade 7 ICT. When we are discussing about the central processing unit, first of all we have to identify that what we mean by the central processing unit. Now, it can be identified as a digital circuit that processes data according to given instructions. Central processing uh, unit can be divide, can sorry, central processing unit can be identified as a digital circuit. It is a digital circuit that processes data according to given instructions. Main function of the processor is to execute instruction stored in a computer program. If someone asks from you uh, that uh, what is the main function of the central processing unit, you can answer that it is, is uh, the main function of the central processing unit, unit is to execute instructions stored in a computer program. It gets data and processes them according to given instructions. It gets data and processes them according to given instructions. It is processes on the motherboard inside the system. You can't see the central processing unit from the outside because it is processed on the motherboard inside the system. Now we will see how it is processed on the motherboard. Here you can see system unit. Inside the system unit the, you can see the motherboard. Inside the motherboard the central processing unit is processed like this. Components of the central processing unit. Now, when we are discussing about the components of the central processing unit, there are three main components. There are three main components in the central processing unit. First one is arithmetic and logical unit, control unit, and memory registers. Arithmetic and logical unit, control unit, and memory registers are three main components of the central processing unit. Here ALU means arithmetic and logical unit, CU means control unit, memory register means memory registers. Here arithmetic and logical unit. By the name itself it performs tasks such as mathematical and logical functions then mathematical and logical functions are performed in the arithmetic and logical unit these functions can be divided into two main sub functions these functions can be divided into two main functions such as mathematical functions and logical functions in case of mathematical functions we can do the mathematical calculations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division. In logical functions you can perform tasks such as logical operations uh, like comparison of two numbers. If, if someone knows what is the greater number uh, between 3 and 2, you can use the, the computer use the logical functions to show the result as 3 is greater than 2. Control unit. It communicates between manipulates and control the hardware connected to the computer. It is the unit which communicates between manipulates and control the hardware connected to the computer. Control unit is communicates between manipulates and control the hardware connected to the computer. Performs tasks such as Controlling input and output data, ensuring that data is sent to right place at the right time. When you are writing, please remember the first letter should be capital. When you are writing, write in the right first letter in capital. Ensuring that data is sent to right place at the right time. Being alert whether relevant signals are successfully received. They are the tasks of
task of central processing unit that means control unit performs tasks such as sorry for the inconvenience uh, performs tasks such as controlling input and output data ensuring that data is sent to the right place at the right time uh, being alerted with the relevant signals are successfully received like that memory registers when we are speaking about the memory registers it temporarily stores data and instructions that are being used by the control processing central processing unit it temporarily stores data and instructions that are being used by the central processing unit storage capacity is very low compared to other memory devices like hard disk the storage capacity of memory registers are very low compared to other memory devices like hard disk but you have to remember data access speed is very high data access speed is very high in memory registers i hope you learned something from my video uh, in this video we discuss only little thing like what we mean by the central processing unit uh, what are the components of the central processing unit and uh, in detail we discuss about the uh, components of the central processing unit in next episode we will discuss about evolution of central processing unit after that we will discuss about the uh, exercise on your textbook hope you understood something from my video I suggest you to keep in touch with me and uh, keep in touch with me and subscribe my YouTube channel. Have a nice day.